what is the splice method of an array uh, i will say this one is the most important function of the array uh, first the definition yes the splice method is used to add remove or replace my elements in array so it's like a very uh, you know uh, can do multiple things see this is the normal splice method where we accepting start index as the first parameter and delete count as the second parameter meaning the numbers of elements to be deleted this delete count uh, resembles the number of elements to be deleted okay and after that there can be a multiple parameters for elements which are going to be deleted let me show you the code example for example this is the array we have then we can use the splice splice method to add elements to this array like this here we are adding x and y letters from the starting first index of the array and we are not removing anything from the array that's why this delete count is zero right now as a result x and y are added starting from the index one like this this is how the splice method is used to add elements to an array the next used use of the splice method is to remove the elements of the array right right now our array is the last output okay this array and in this code we are removing one element from the start index one so this x at index one will be removed from the last output and this will be the final new array output here if this delete count is two then x and y two elements will be removed okay that's how the remove uh, by the splice will work okay that's it now we will use the splice method to replace the elements in the array so what was our last output array was this one now like with this code we will replace the element in at index 2 with q letter remember uh, replace is not a direct operation here uh, in reality what will happen first one element will be deleted from index 2 uh, which is uh, the letter b here then the q element will be added at index 2 so that's how replacement uh, is working uh, uh, like add and remove works with array okay first uh, it's like not directly it's indirect at the end you might ask when we have single array function to add uh, uh, remove or replace element of array elements in an array then when we have separate functions right we have then why do we need other functions in arrays uh, to add or remove like why we have this splice function see uh, this splice function minimum requirement is the start index okay so if you have the start index with with you then you can use it okay then you can use this splice function but many times we do not have it uh, the start index then we can use the other array functions to perform different operations okay so now you will remember this concept and you will remember when to use it when to use the previous functions right that's it